Moving on, Graham. Very sad news earlier this morning. <coughs> the news that Peter Broadbent, former Shrewsbury and Wolves legend, has sadly died at the age of, of 80. A, a man I'm sure you, you got to know in your, your time at Wolves in particular. I, d I did. He was, uh, he was part of the team and the club I supported as a boy. He was a terrific player. Um, you know, graced the football field with his, with his style and uh, his ability. And uh, I can remember going to Wolves tomorrow new to the Hall of Fame dinner. Uh, I think both of us were elected into the Hall of Fame on the on the same night. His wife was there to collect it. He was he was uh, he was unwell. But they did uh, a link with Alex Ferguson on video, and he was saying when he was he was growing up, Peter Borabent was uh, was his favourite player. Uh, loved the player, you know, for, for what he was, and uh, I think that is uh, a testimony to. The high esteem and the high ability he got. He was a graceful player, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Shrewsbury, older Shrewsbury supporters who remember him as a player, mm. and uh, what a terrific player he was. How good was he, Graham, for people of our generation who weren't lucky enough to, to, to see him play? You used to watch him as a boy, I'm, I'm sure, as a, as a Wolves supporter from afar. Was, was he one of your favourites? He, he was. He was a terrific, creative player. You know, he had the right sort of... He was in a good team where he'd got Ron Flowers as his mind. Ron, Ron used to be the more defensive player and Peter was just free to go and join in. Uh, it's difficult off the top of my head to liken him to any player uh, today. I think he was, he was more creative than the majority of, uh, of, mm. of, of the England players that we've got. But, uh, you know, coming down to more recent times, I, I would probably liken him to Glenn Hoddle. I'm sure many people could remember Glenn Hoddle. Uh, as a player, so it was that style of player, magnificent passer of the ball and a lovely graceful mover who, uh, who really did well for Wolves and it, and it was a great coup when this club signed him and then quite a surprise when he went back to a big club like Aston Villa and continued with his career there. Mm -hmm. That is a snap, a snapshot of his ability. That in fact he comes from Wolves to Shrewsbury, and then a massive club like Aston Villa they come in for him. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure that uh, those that had the privilege of watching him play in the Shrewsbury shirt will be grateful for that experience of watching one of the top midfield players this country has produced.